Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. Welcome back to our Sunday uh, premiere, working on Vigilante, building the back fender. And uh, I'll go over to the car and show you what I'm doing real quick, and then we'll, we'll get started. So this is a Vigilante. This is the car that we're building right here by hand. And right here, we have the conduit. I've showed you guys this numerous times in the videos, but I like to start the video fresh so you know where we're at today. And the panel that I'm working on today is this front part of the back fender. You can see the buck underneath the table there. And that front part is obviously that's the fender for the other side, but I'll be working on this panel here today. And if we can, if we have time, we'll get into building this second panel here. We'll see what happens. So here's the fender buck here, made out of quarter inch or 5 16 uh, solid round rod. And I left off with building this panel here. And then I think what I'm gonna do today is I'll try to get some of the highs and lows knocked out of this. And I'll show you the technique that I use. It doesn't mean it's the technique that you need, you need to use. Um, everybody, you know, they find their own techniques. Like right here, there's a bunch of dimples. I'll run this in the English wheel and smooth this out. And you know, you can run this on the flashing hammer also. But I wanna to try to get some of this stuff knocked out so I can get it spot welded onto the buck so that we can build this next panel right here. So I just took a block and some sandpaper and ran it over a little bit more. And you can really see the highs and lows now. Anywhere there's silver obviously is a high. Anywhere there's red is a low spot. And then uh, you see right here, there's a pretty good sized dent. There's one here. And that's what I'm working on right now is I'll try to go through here and kind of hammer some of this stuff out, knock it down, get it smoothed out. I'll put it back on the English wheel and just keep working it until I get it uh, almost perfect. So I went ahead and circled the spots that need work with a uh, Sharpie. And I'll go ahead and hammer for a little bit. And when I say hammer, I'm not talking about like when you're slamming down on something trying to, to form the metal, the sheet metal. This is 20 gauge sheet metal, by the way. I'm talking about uh, just, this, these are bumping hammers, as all these are bumping body hammers, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just gonna bump the metal and try to knock it out smooth so that it matches up with the other, uh, it's like a radius almost on this fender so that, that it, it's putting some shape into it. By forming it, I'm putting shape into it, if that makes sense. And uh, if Paul Lyons is watching, he'll get a kick out of what I just said. Now what I'll do is check out that spot and obviously you can see the red right there and I can tell that that's a low spot so I want to go ahead and hit this with a sandpaper and see where I'm at. Most of it came out, except you can see this line right here. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. Light taps, and you wanna use your wide part of your hammer. If you if you use the, the thin part of the hammer, or the smaller part, it's gonna leave like uh, dimples in there really bad. And right now all I'm trying to do is raise that panel.
And you could use a body file on this also. <clears throat> now this removes a lot of metal, so you gotta be careful. Now the problem with the body file is when you're done, it leaves a lot more work where, uh, you know, to, to smooth out that panel. So right now I'm just using a sanding block because I've got the panel close where it needs to be. You can see the little red spots right here, here, and then that's a hammer mark right there, right there, right there. And those are all low. go ahead and mess around with this for a little bit more and then when I get ready to run this on the English wheel I'll uh, turn the camera back on so now that I have that panel closed I want to run this in the English wheel and my bottom die my top one is actually flat you guys know that but the bottom die is uh, it's just got a little tiny radius on it so I didn't even measure the radius I'm just gonna go for it but uh I don't want it to be flat because it leaves a lot of lines in the panel. So I need a little bit of radius in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this up tight and then let off just a little bit when I go to roll it. Can you guys even see that? It's probably not any better. Sorry about the crappy camera work. And the next step I'll do after I get this panel where I'm happy with it, I'll take a dual orbital sander or a DA and I'll run it with like 220 grit and I'll smooth this panel out and check it again. And if it's where I like it and I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and uh, get it welded to the buck. But lately, um, you know, you guys, you want me to teach this, teach these uh, techniques and whatever, but apparently some assholes here on YouTube don't want to hear me talking. So I'm not really sure how I can explain how to do this stuff without talking. So those assholes that uh, are on here, leaving your jackass comments, go find another channel. And they know who they are. There's always gotta be some haters in life, you know? And when you're, when you're doing a curved panel, you wanna follow the radius of that panel or the shape of that panel. You don't wanna just run across and pull it out flat like this because you'll end up bending that up or bending it down. So you wanna kinda of roll it in and out of that wheel like this. And, and then this, this panel is shaped like this, so I'm, I'm following the whole panel. And you can actually feel the low spots, low spots uh, in the panel getting lifted when you're doing this.
I got a little spot right here that keeps kind of oil canning when I'm moving it around. And I'll check it on the uh, fender buck. And if I don't like it, I'll just shrink that side just a little bit. But it's starting to look pretty damn good. So right now I'm, I'm gonna use a DA and this is uh, 80 grit. And I'm gonna go through here and just check a So that's feeling pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, if I don't drop this tripod, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera so I don't bore you guys with a bunch of sanding. I'll get this panel sanded and then I'll, I'll get it prepped to go on the fender. We'll see how it looks. So it smoothed out pretty nice. There's a couple little bumps and bruises and scratches in the metal and whatever. I'll keep working on that. But one of the things I wanted to say is if you're using a DA to uh, sand, Make sure you always keep it flat. Don't dig in like this because it will it, it will uh, mess up your panel a little bit when you're messing around with that. But uh, you know, try to keep it nice and flat like this and follow the shape of the panel. You know, so when you're sanding it, you're almost using it like a block sander. But it's getting there. Um, there's a couple of highs and lows and little spots that I can see here and there. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good. So this is the thing if you're a fabricator or metal shape or whatever, you're gonna need lots of vice grips. And when I say vice grips, I'm talking about C clamps, welding clamps, whatever you guys wanna call them. But I clamped it on here real quick just to make sure there's no gaps. And if you go to the back on the buck, you can see there's no gaps right here. And that's what you want. And there's no gaps like this. And it goes all the way across and nice and smooth so that that tells me that now it's the shape that I want. Now this sheet metal panel mimics that uh, metal buck that we built. So I'll go ahead and get this uh, spot welded on. That way we can start building this uh, next panel right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this panel spot welded on this buck and you know I'll pull the clamps off and we'll see how it looks. <clears throat> Well, I'm gonna cut this video short. That's enough for today. And then, uh, like I said, I'll start forming this panel here uh, next Sunday. And I don't know if I'll go, go to here or whatever. And then there's gonna be one more panel here. But I got this this one put on. It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not looking too bad. And then, uh, you know, this edge right here will get TIG welded to the next panel that goes from here to here. And then I'll metal uh, finish this whole edge right here so you can't tell, you know, so it looks like this. But yeah, it's not, not looking too bad. And then uh, I'll go ahead and just start doing the same thing and then building the fenders. And the next videos, I don't think I'm gonna spend so much time explaining what I'm doing and showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and just start building it and uh, filming it. 
But I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Later.